<laughs> like you know like the swag hat and like the sunglasses and the cigarette you know like that the and i'll just crap. do a bad photoshop of it on yeah, the yeah, yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. Uh, is that that cat getting in the lens? Is it? I don't know. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. <laughs> kind of looks like it, eh? Yeah. Alright. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome back. I know we've been absent. Uh, there's the reasons for that that we can't go into. Uh, but we're back. We're back clawing our way on our projects, grinding things away making progress literally into... grinding <laughs> just wait for it okay so 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 today it's like beautiful morning you know cons come around and we started buttoning up our burnout car engine and the cross flow this thing here so um and what we noticed was that it was hard to turn so as as we're talking up the main engine caps the crank caps, uh, the rod caps. We noticed that, like, it was look. It was so hard that, that where's the tool? We had to actually had to make a tool, like just to rotate the engine. You know, this goes in in the here, like that, and then you rotate the engine. And then, you know what? And we're like, that's not right. Like, you should not be assembling engines that tight. No, not at all. So we're like, what's going on? So you know, we're standing around this engine, and we're like, okay, well, let's undo all the let's undo all the rod caps first and see if it's easy to turn so we undone uh, one two three four five six rod caps and then you know all of a sudden oh hello i can turn the engine you don't need this anymore so then we went one by one tighten them down and then everything was fine except when we got to number six this one here right so we so we would uh you know you do it up you can't turn the engine Undo this uh, rod cap, engine turns. Well, all the other ones are talked. Yeah, well, talked enough talked for enough. it. Yeah. yeah. So, so we took the cap off, looked at the cap. It looks fine. There's nothing really wrong with it. And you look at the bearings. And you can see the bearings are scored, right? It's not damaged, but like... Not damaged, something. but you can see, like, they've been, you know, something's not right there. Too, much, too tight of a clearance, yeah? Too tight of a clearance. So, yeah. like, we're like thinking, well, how can this be? Because the rest of the, you know... We've ordered all oversized bearings. Yeah. To specification, because this has been um, machined before. Yeah. Yeah. So, we... The caps that we took out, um, you know, we got the same part numbers. And mm. we put... You know, they, so, these are the ones... These are the exact same ones that we took out, except, you know, mm. they're new. Yeah, just the one which binds the whole thing up. Yeah. yeah. Um, so um, we don't really have instruments accurate enough to do any kind of measurements in the crank or anything like that. Like, look, we're just doing things out of garage. So the only thing that we can think of is that at some stage, this engine had a catastrophic failure. So this is our theory so far, like so far as we can tell. And it must have bent uh, a, a rod, connecting rod. Yeah. And they must have replaced the rod with one from another engine or something like that. Yeah. And and as best as we can tell, these things kind of get the rod gets cast as one piece, and then it gets cut, and then it gets bolted together, and then this gets machined, yeah. right? So if you you can't actually this cap needs to match matches the rod like you can't mm. if you well in theory you can if the manufacturing process has got tight tolerances you should be able to swap them around any way you like but mm. as we know reality of australian manufacturing in the 80s is you know leaves a lot to be desired mm. so what we're sort of thinking was that they got a rod from another motor it could be even from another model of a car or who knows yeah it was close enough, but it wasn't, you know. It just sounds like they wanted this thing to get get it running and yeah. slap it together. <clears> and I mean, and that was the, you know, and that was the reality for uh, you know engine reconditioning in the '90s, you know, in, in the back of Kelmscott. You know, people come in and they've got to run the business. You know, they've got to uh, 
the the car is their livelihood and you know and, and they just want to they just want to get the car fixed up and get it out on the road and and you know and making money you know towing trailers uh lugging tools uh, wheelbarrows around whatever they were doing so um it's kind of that's this the sort of what's making sense in our heads now is that this is not matched to the rod so so being the master engine builders that we are okay. what we can actually do is we're gonna sand these yeah i know <laughs> have you have but you hey, seen this, this is how clever we are this is how clever most people have gone oh you're gonna get sandpaper and, and send the inside of it uh-huh but no we're gonna do the outside of it so that's the ah, part that's not touching the crank up here for thinking exactly down well, there for walking yeah and <laughs> so we you know we, we we reckon we're pretty clever and like you know yeah you know, i reckon yeah. this is gonna be like something special yeah that's right i'm gonna tape you up you can take this to the bank yeah you can yeah. you can uh show this video to uh, any engine builder and they'll go you know what those guys they've got it going on <laughs> <laughs> Master Tech, BMW builders, yeah, yeah, engine yeah, builders. Yeah. Mate, I'll uh, take this on board. I'll yeah. tell you what. That's right. You know, you know, there'll be people scratching their heads at the moment in uh, some kind of Formula oh. One workshop. That's right. You know, contemplating their lives yeah, and why and, they and, didn't and, come and, up with this. Yeah, not just scratching because they'd be laughing so hard either. No, no, yeah. no, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just gonna put some degreaser on here, yeah, right, and yeah. then uh, yeah, here we go. I'm just gonna, just kind of, you know, I call it hand machining. What uh, grid is this? I don't know. No, it's <laughs> it's, a, it's what I was using <laughs> to sand plaster in my house. <laughs> okay. And you can see it's already having an effect. See, all that stuff we're taking off. My eyechrometer saying that you've taken off about half a micron. Yeah, okay. the more that came from. Mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, while you do that, we'll uh, get come back to you in about 10 minutes. Yeah, check back with us, guys, and uh, we'll see if uh, this remedy fixes the problem. There you go. I think it's quite fine sandpaper. Yeah. 320 or something. in a bit of oil okay this points forward the arrow yeah. So just talking up number six uh, rod cap. Okay, big test. Let's see if our theory worked. No. Still tight. Still too tight. And then loosen it up. Turns. Turns. Keep on grinding. Keep on grinding, I guess. <laughs> I, can't, I can't suggest anything else. No. Or we just get standard rod um, bearings for that. Just get a standard set. But then you have to buy a whole set. But... Yeah, maybe just bite the bullet. Well, we'll give it another, give it another time seven. on the sandpaper, I guess. And... Master engine builder at your disposal.
<laughs> guys welcome back to uh engine masters and let me demonstrate for you <laughs> for the breaker ball those all those years have been laughing at us the past five minutes yeah look at this <laughs> <laughs> oh shit Continue laughing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <sighs> Fixed. All right, on uh, to the next yeah, thing. Yeah, next thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Next, next uh, what we're going to do is uh, we need to mount a uh, uh, crankshaft sensor. So this is a sensor from uh, LS V8. I uh, just got it because it's the cheapest one. So, this is the hum, just a factory harmonic balancer, right? Just a steel unit. So, what we got laser cart is a uh, uh, tone wheel, it's called a tone wheel. And the idea is um, this sort of sits there, and then we'll like tack weld it onto the harmonic balancer and what this does is when the motor spins it generates kind of like a guitar string um, it uh, creates a disturbance in the magnetic field and it sends a signal to the ECU yeah. it sends 5 volts to the yeah, ECU as a, five volts as a to, square wave yeah to basically say that the engine's spinning and at what RPM mm. and uh, we're going to then cut out a tooth at a point hmm. and then that's the reference of where in the cycle the crank is and the engine is. That's right. And so you can base top dead center off that. Yeah, yeah, so this this will tell the computer um basically when to fire the injectors and when to fire the ignition coils. Yeah. Um it's kinda like a, probably the most important actually most important sensor is this one. So we're gonna make sure we do it right. Um so I just I haven't welded anything. This is just the I'm just gonna mock it up. I kind of already had a go at it, uh, just mocking it up before, but that was a while ago. So there's gonna be something like this, and then what I was thinking I was just mounting it somewhere here like that. So we're gonna make a bracket, right? Yeah, so we've got to make a bracket and well, what happens when you actually talk this in this timing casting, it actually starts to hit the wheel. So we're going to grind that off. So yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just going to grind a little bit off this and then like drive this thing in as where it wants to be and then we'll have a look where we'll mark and make up a bracket to mount this. Yep. The plan is, oh yeah, give it here. <laughs> <laughs> we've got this uh, little bit of cardboard and we're going to use that as a sort of rough guide and uh, we're going to, yeah, cut out a bit of steel, drill some holes in it and then uh, just weld like a little tab and then, yeah, just basically mount this or maybe like there, yeah, like that. That's perfect. A little tab there, so two bolt holes, and then this thing, yeah. 
And there, and then uh, tab. Uh -huh. Easy now. I like that. Uh, yeah. All right. All the way. What would be the less interference with other other stuff? Well, no. Well, there's the things in interfering with the. Like the plug. Yeah. Like that. It's not going anyway now. No, I think so. Alright, just clean it up. Give it a quick psh psh psh. Alright? Sure. F minus? Yeah, I uh... Well, no, it's, it's, you know, he had a job to do and he yeah. did the job, of, you know, he tacked it in. We've got some hairline cracks in there, but... Hairline cracks. That's my specialty. <laughs> so, just mounting up. Oh, I think no. Oh, goes go there. Hey, this goes here. Ah. And you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much how much work there is to do. The only thing that matters is the work's getting done. Getting done. Yeah. yeah. This is all just theory about what three, four months ago. <laughs> we're yeah, just exactly. About last it. year we were just oh, talking. Oh, we need to put a crank angle sensor. Yeah, now it's here. Oh, we need to yeah. make a tone wheel. Where do we get the tone? Oh, there it is. Yeah, well, that's right. It's right there. Yeah, there. Tone wheel. All right, guys. All right, well, that that yeah. concludes that. That concludes uh, a bit of an update on the burnout slash drift ute 350 cross flow turbo. Um, I think next time we're going to tackle the turbo manifold. Yes. And we're going to do a top mount turbo. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about yeah, that. Yeah, it's actually. pretty fun. Yeah, yeah it's going to be fun. <laughs> I think the exhaust manifold bit will just solidify the fact that we're actually yeah. turbocharging. Exactly. Once we get the manifold yeah. done and mocked up and yeah. 
in here it's yeah it's all happening but yeah but this is quite an important sensor yeah for yeah. the ecu and there'll be other sensors as well but yeah i'd, I'd say we should use the um distributor as a another reference point yeah another another point yeah of reference because yeah. um that determines yeah. top dead center as well but yeah we'll soon we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there exactly all right so yeah, sorry for uh, being absent for so long, yep. and uh, we'll, uh, we've all been dealing with some issues, <laughs> so that's why our uh, fun times, but yeah. yeah, it's all on the mend, and we're getting there. Yep. Tune in, subscribe, Thanks. comment. Thanks, fellas. See you guys, Bye. and girls.